was signed. The Albuquerque Convention and Visitors Bureau is firing back tonight after it received a scathing letter from a group representing hotels. It says the Bureau isn't doing enough to sell the city and bring more conventions to town. Action 7 News reporter Sandra Ramirez took those claims directly to the CEO today. She's live with his response. The Greater Albuquerque Innkeepers Association sent a copy of this letter to our partners at the Albuquerque Journal. I called the association today. They tell me they have no comment. But I did talk to the CEO of the Visit Convention and Visitors Bureau, who had plenty to say about it. The letter is addressed to the chair, chair elect, and CEO of the Albuquerque Convention and Visitors Bureau. The Greater Albuquerque Hotel Association expresses disappointment with the Bureau's sales efforts and described the attitude of the CEO and VP of sales to be negative. Bureau CEO Dale Lockett says that's just not true. Disappointment in sales? Sorry, but we had a lot of sales business into this destination. Lockett says the city raked in $84 million in convention money last year with plenty more on the way, but he admits trying to bring business to any city is tough, and Albuquerque is no exception. When a customer tells us why they're not going to choose Albuquerque to bring their convention, is to reflect and, and to present that information back to the hotels, to the convention center, to the city as a whole. One of the main reasons clients don't choose to come here? downtown vitality, the improvements that's needed overall. And that's nothing new. As Action 7 News has reported, many businesses have left the downtown area over the past few years. But Lockett doesn't see that feedback as a negative. He says it's an opportunity to learn and improve. He also tells us plenty has already been done to try and lure more clients to town. Two, three. Yeah. Including a $300 million investment into the convention center. And Lockett says there's always room to do better, but says it should begin with constructive conversations, not finger pointing. Now, the letter asks the, the board for the Convention and Visitors Bureau to take action, but doesn't say exactly what should be done. The Innkeepers Association says they'll talk about the issue at their next meeting later this month. Reporting live in downtown Albuquerque, Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News. Some Albuquerque leaders are headed to Austin. The Duke City economic developer is going to showcase entrepreneurs and innovators from our area at South by Southwest. That's one of the world's biggest events for startups. At least nine companies from New Mexico plan to attend and could even come away with some funding for their business. New Mexico 